Hello! Today we're going to be making Instant Pot Meatloaf and Mashed Potatoes. It's a video I found on Facebook and this is my first time trying to make it. So for the meatloaf you're going to need two pounds of ground beef, one cup of breadcrumbs, two eggs, half a cup of onion, diced, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of dried parsley, one teaspoon of salt and pepper, and half a cup of honey barbecue sauce. For the topping, you're going to need two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of mustard, and a third of a cup of ketchup. For the potatoes, you're going to need three pounds of yellow potatoes washed and quartered, half, one cup of chicken broth, a cup of half and half, I'm just going to use milk for that today, uh, four tablespoons of butter, three quarters cup sour cream, one teaspoon garlic powder, and salt and pepper to taste. <clears throat> so first, you start out, I've already uh, washed and quartered my potatoes and put them at the bottom of the Instant Pot. <clears throat> then you add one cup of broth to that. You need the at least one cup of broth or water to um, help bring the pressure up in the Instant Pot. <clears throat> and now we're going to mix up the meatloaf. I've already got my ground beef in there. Oh, I forgot to grab the eggs out of the fridge. So one cup of bread crumbs. Two eggs. Half a cup of onion diced. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Wait, two teaspoons. Sorry. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of dried parsley. Teaspoon of pepper. Teaspoon of salt. Half a cup of honey barbecue. Okay. Now we're going to mix all this together. And I'm putting on gloves because I don't like to touch my meat when it's raw. Okay, now that we've mixed it all, uh, you shape it. I 
into like a loaf, big enough, small enough that it'll fit inside your Instapot and uh, put it inside of some uh, aluminum foil, tin foil. Fold it to make kind of a little makeshift dish. And then we're going to take our trivet that came with the Instant Pot, set it on top of our potatoes. And then we're going to set our meatloaf on top, like that. Then we're going to close it, close our, seal it, and then set it on manual on your pressure cook. And it said 25, 20 to 25 minutes. We'll do 23. Um, and then just wait for it to do its thing. Now it's uh, building up pressure, and that might take a little while to do. Once it builds up the pressure, then it'll start the countdown of the 23 minutes that I put. Okay, while well, that's cooking, I decided to make the topping that goes on top of the meatloaf. Um, you need a third of a cup of ketchup, which I've already put into the bowl. And then two tablespoons of brown sugar. And two tablespoons of mustard. So it's done doing its thing. Now we do a quick release by moving this from seal to venting and watch out for the steam. Okay, so all the pressure has released and we can tell because this little pin has dropped down. And I'm going to open it up. Still want to be careful because a little bit of steam could still escape. And there's our meatloaf. We'll lift it out. And we'll put it on a baking sheet over here. And now we're going to brush some of that topping on top of it and <clears throat> put it in the broil in the oven under broil for about three to four minutes. Okay. 
so that topping can get caramelized. Stick it in the oven under broil for three to four minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm going to mash the potatoes. All right, and we can mash the potatoes right in the pot. You want to add four tablespoons of butter, three quarter cup of sour cream, One cup of milk, or half and half. A teaspoon of garlic powder. And then a little salt and pepper to taste, so a little bit. I might add a little bit more later. And we mash. Let me get this. Put the meatloaf in the oven for three to four minutes to caramelize that topping. And here's the finished product, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos related to cooking Instapot and maybe some other types of cooking videos. Thanks!